that you would uh, consider taking a monthly payment until we paid you off in full. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, it depends on what kind of terms you guys are talking. Right, right. So basically, um, so let me ask you this. Uh, so if we're able to agree on a price and terms, what is the least you would accept on the price? Uh, make an offer. You know what it's listed for. You, you got some comps, so you know it's priced right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was looking and I was seeing things in the upper 40s. I mean, is that, is that what you saw too or something like that? I don't know where you find any houses that's completely remodeled front to back, top to bottom for upper 30s. But no, no, upper 40s, not 30s, not, for, not 30s. It was in the upper 40s, oh. like 48, 49, around that range, you know. Yeah, the, yeah those are all un, 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 unremodeled, unupdated houses from the 60s and 70s, uh, which might, might not be important to you. You know, I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm priced, I think, correct for the right buyer. You know, somebody that wants a nice house, it's already done and whatnot. But yeah, the, the comps you're looking at for the 45 to 50 grand range, you know, take some time to go look at those pictures. Those are all um, un, unupdated homes. Right, right. So you did all of this uh, rehab and everything yourself, or you have like a contractor crew? I, I had a con contractor do it. Oh, okay. But it's, all, it's, all done, it's all done right. Cool, I, cool. I bought the house to live here for a couple of years, and I've been here now almost a year, and it's just not, not exactly where I need to be at, at, my, at this point in my life, so yeah. my wife's or so. I can understand that. Yeah, I have a uh, we have a couple right around the corner from there, so um, that's why I was just looking because we, uh, you know, I, I understand the area there, and you know, you really gotta love it to live in it. So, and so you don't really like the yeah, area that exactly. much, huh? No, unless you're unless you're just looking for a rental property, you know, it, it obviously it'd be a good rental property because it's turnkey, but it's not. Uh, I don't want to get into the real. I don't want to get into the rental business with, with one house. Exactly. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. So you fix and flip them all the time. What's that? So do you fix and flip properties all the time, or is it just the first one? Yeah, no, it's all right. This is my first home. Oh, okay. Well, you did a great job on it. It looks really good. Yeah, we did. We, we did actually do a really good job on it. Yeah, um, yeah. Probably, probably, probably did too nice of a job for the neighborhood, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's the only catch when you start fixing them up too nice. that You, you can run into that problem. I understand that. And yeah. And so, um, and so, like I said, my goal was to live here for two, two, for two or three years and, you know, sell to an investor, you know. Right, so right. Down the road, sell for 45 or 50 grand to an investor for a real property and get out of it, but uh, it, is, it is what it is at this point. Right, right. And so, um, so you want to be around 58,000, is that correct? Yeah, I mean, I'd probably work a little bit, you know, because obviously I'm selling on my own, so I don't have no energy fees or anything, but. Yeah, right, right. You know, I, I'd say 55, 55 grand, I, I, I thought I wanted to go. Anything less than that just doesn't make sense to me. Exactly. Um, you know, because I know, I know the, right, the right buyer will come along eventually for it. Just, you know. Exactly. Well, the right buyer, the, the person wants to live in it. The good news is the right buyer happens to be on the phone for it. So 55000 that sounds good. So uh, I don't know if my assistant told you. So what we do is when we buy houses, there are no real estate commissions or no fees. And many times we uh, can even pay the closing costs for it. Um, so, but like I said, for us to pay a full retail price for a house like that, we would just ask for a little bit of time till we paid you off in full. So you said you would consider something like that? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'd have to know, you know, a little bit more about you guys and what kind of terms you're talking and all that, but I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind quoting it for a little bit if I need to. Okay. And so 55000 price. And then uh, what what do you think you could take as far as a monthly payment? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess this, this is your department, so you need to come come to me with, you know, you need to come to me with a solid offer that I can consider and that it makes sense, it makes sense. Right, right. And then uh, let's see here. We usually buy with nothing down, okay? Okay. All right. And then... Um, so, so basically, so what I can do here is I'm going to have to do a little more research to see exactly what numbers we can do for it. But what we would do is, uh, like I said, we would buy the house. We would actually close through a real estate attorney. We would actually even pay all the closing costs, and we would take full responsibility for all the maintenance and repairs of the house going forward. And uh, what is the most amount of time you think you can give as far as to get you paid off in full? Again, tell me what you need me to do, and if it makes sense to me, I'll do it. I mean, yeah, so we, I mean, we... When I, when I, when I, when I, 
We when did. I went to buy a house, I didn't ask a bunch of questions. I said, here, I want to buy the house. I had made an offer. They accepted the offer. And closed. <laughs> so exactly. We, well, I mean, we normally would get 30 years, but I, don't, I mean, it doesn't take 30 years for this small amount of money. It's not a lot. So I wouldn't want to do anything like that. So I just, you know, want to be, I want to make it a win-win situation so it is not, you know, bad for you. I want to make it good for you and good for us at the same time. So, um. So basically, basically you want me to sell you my house with no money down and you want me to be, you want to be your banker for you too. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Well, I mean, you know, that's why I want to ask you what is comfortable for you. You know, we've done deals like that before. I mean, it doesn't have to be that way, but we're flexible, and that's why we just want to make it, like I said, a win-win situation. So, I mean, if we would do something what's your, like... What's your, what, what, what's your company's name? I'll, I'll look at your company a little bit, and I'll get back with you. Yeah, sure. St. Louis Cash Bars. I can send you the information over on it right now, if you like. Yeah. Send it over to me. I'm, I'm getting ready to walk in and some dinner, but send it over to me. Let me look into it, and I'll give you a call back tomorrow, and we'll see what can work out. Perfect. But Sounds I'm, good. I'm... I'm I'm, I'm easy to get along with if you're an easy guy to get along with as well, but it's got to make sense for everybody. That's right. That's what I want to do, make it a win-win. Thanks for your time, Jared. Yep, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> what do you think about that call, Pedro? That was really good. Why do you think it was good? Because. Because what? Because. He had a lot of questions, and you were able to overcome that and, you know, answer them properly. That's right. That's right. So they giving you hearts, David. Hold on. Yeah. They gave you some hearts for your good feedback. What did you all think about this question? You say... Uh, all right, you just signed up for that prop stream, uh, D Young. Yeah, go ahead and get wokesource.com if you want to get that seven day free trial to prop stream. You'll be hooked. They say, you think you should start off calling these lists even though I'm over the road right now? Heck yeah, I'll be on the phone with people. How hard was that? That phone call I was just on? That was a follow up call on a for sale by owner, beautiful house, don't need anything, just need somebody to move in it. And so I told them, we can work out a deal and uh, see what we can do. What's up, Maxine? How you doing? So, yeah, I, you know, it's all about having a conversation. I didn't have to beat him up on price. I don't know if he came in later on. He wanted 58500 Where he come up with that number? Who knows? The Zestimate said 48000 for it. So he looked like he's like ten grand over. But, you know, price isn't really a big deal when it comes to terms. So people get afraid when they hear a big price. Now, when you're doing wholesaling, price is everything. It's all about the price. But on terms, it's all about terms. And that guy seemed to be pretty intelligent. And he was on there like, yeah, so uh, you want me to sell me your sell my house to you, no money down, be your banker, and everything. And I, yeah, basically, I do. <laughs> We usually buy with nothing down, okay? You like how I slide that in? Did you like that, Deidre? Mm -hmm. I slid it in. He like, okay. We usually buy with nothing down, okay? That's the last time I'm talking about down payment. I'm done. So send me your house, no money down, low monthly payment if I can do it. If I can get it for four or five hundred a month or something silly, you know, even lower, because a two bedroom, I think I can get about eight, seven fifty to eight fifty over there. So not too much. So even a seller himself was noticing, man, you asked a lot of good questions. That's what I'm here to do, buddy. I'm here to pick your brain. Because he who asks the questions is in control of the conversation. Miss I buy houses. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? What's up, Ernesto? Ernesto here, he waving at you, Deidre. Your favorite Illinois realtor. Hello. <laughs> so yeah that was just a follow up call I just threw y'all in the middle of the mix if you missed the beginning go back and watch the replay and if you liked it and if you're just a nice person hit that share button it's a little share button somewhere in there you can share it to others within Instagram here you can like it by tapping the screen giving some hearts and if you're watching the replay hit that thumbs up as well I appreciate each and every one of you you say hey Shot town you in Shot town oh, alright I was just there what like three months ago, and you were just there like what two weeks ago. Oh, Said so we stay up in Chicago. We stay in Chicago. We live in the club. We die in the club. No. <laughs> I'm finna skip more and start calling before this night is over with. That's right. Yeah, just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep talking to sellers. Cause somebody gonna say yes. A lot of them may say no, but somebody gonna say yes. Oh, you say you're from Chicago, but you're in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, cool, cool. I got you. So anybody have any questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? 
So I just wanted to get y'all in on a little call real quick. And so, uh, oh, I'm going live tonight, ain't I? Is that tonight? Today, Monday? Oh, yeah. Going live, going to do a deal breakdown, talking about a wholesale deal that I got $7,000 for. Uh, I had a deal where I never met the seller. I never met the buyer. I only saw the house, and I was able to negotiate a deal, work the deal out, renegotiate it. All that's coming up tonight, 7 o'clock, on the YouTube channel. Check that out. 7 o'clock Central is going to be 8 o'clock Eastern, so that's about, what, a couple of hours from now. So make sure you hit the link in my bio and go to the YouTube channel and check that out tonight. It's going to be streaming live on YouTube and streaming live on the Woke Real Estate Investors Group. All right. What's up, Langston? Buys houses. What's up, Kelvin? What up, what up, what up? Did you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Did you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Because I'm gone like the wind. So do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace out.